Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another month and another book review. So, for the month of April, I am going to be doing book reviews on the first one, my spiritual books. And then from the spiritual books, I am probably going to delve more into finance books and then share like the best ones that I read and those are going to be the ones that I'm going to share and then I guess that's going to be it for the year I'll reach my goal of reading however many books I set out to read and I mean I'll continue reading so you can follow me on Goodreads for written reviews other than that it's going to be this and one more and that's it so to get started this month I am reading or looking at books well reading books by Don Miguel uh, Ruiz Ruiz and basically the books are Totic Wisdom books and to start off the first book that I ever read of uh, the Totic uh, from the Totic collection by Don Miguel Ruiz uh, it was the book the Four Agreements, and that book is it's a great book. It's a great companion book to have um, if you want to better. It's similar to I think how to influence friends, how to win friends, um, how to influence people and win friends, but not by Napoleon Hill. However, this one is more on a spiritual side. So like the four agreements, not to take anything personal, to be impeccable with your words. I, and let me get the book because I have to see it. And um, so yeah, I read that one a very long time ago, like four or five years ago. And so be impeccable with your words. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. And that book was an amazing book. So for that one, here's the companion uh, book to it because I did read it a long time ago and I wanted a refresher. So there's a companion version of it. And this is pretty good too. Like this is more like Q&A sessions, um, asking questions about the four agreements and how to react to certain situations and people's story about how it changed them. Okay, so that's one. And then the second, my second favorite book that I read uh, on Totic Wisdom was Mastery of Love. Yeah, Mastery of Love was second. And so right here, Mastery of Love. This book is so great. Um, I even bought a copy and I bought like five other copies that I gave to like my siblings and one to one of my friends. But yeah, basically a great book. Um, and I did a review on this book. So I would definitely recommend this book. Out of all of Don Miguel's books that I've read, the two that I would recommend for sure is The Four Agreements, Master and Mastery of Love, for sure. And then my third favorite book is, hmm, I have so many of them, The Three Questions, this one right here. This is my third favorite because this book right here is if you are trying to um, I feel like if you if you're dealing with anxiety, this book is the perfect companion book. Um, yeah, so like if you're dealing with anxiety and voices in your head, and just trying to make sense of the chaos, the mental chaos that you have going on, it's the perfect book. And the questions are, who am I, and who, what is real, and what is love? And so basically, just saying that what is what is you will only know what is real when you know what is not real you will only know who you are when you know who you are not and then the fourth one you will only know love when you will know love when you know what love isn't so yeah perfect book so this right here is my third recommendation so first if you want to start off now on the publication dates are different for from for these books but you can look up the publication dates online but basically like just to start off i would say um, mastery of love maybe and then four agreements or four agreements mastery of love and then moving on to the three questions and then my fourth favorite would have to be this one the voice of knowledge just explaining the um, emotions are real inner peace just a whole bunch of good stuff and then my favorite is the part about Adam and Eve and how he interpreted the story and how like they ate from the tree of knowledge and the tree of knowledge is basically lies so this book is teaching you how to live in this world that we live in but 
um, and also in the mental and the internal world that we live in and how to recognize lies and just live a more self-aware lifestyle so yeah I liked this one as well but of course my, these are my favorite three the four agreements mastery of love and the three questions and then the rest of these you can read them in whatever order but yeah I like this one and then the circle of fire but it's a tie between the circle of fire and the mastery of self um yeah the mastery of self I don't know I I, I thought I would like it um I'm missing one and that is the fifth agreement I thought I had it but I guess I don't yeah so check that one out too I used to have it but I think I had to return it so um, can hold on to it. I started reading the fifth agreement that one seems okay but like I said the three that I showed you previously those are my three favorites and then these are just like they were good but yeah and then lastly which is this one which um, I'm still working through it's called the Totec art of life and death and this is more like an autobiography about Don Miguel's life and what happened he had a near-death experience that just showed him what life is truly about and from that near-death experience because I believe he used to be a surgeon a physician and then from the near-death experience he be decided that his life path was to be a healer and to pass on the Totec wisdom so yeah I really like this and then lastly this is not really a book but it's one of those for dummies um, I don't know where I put it oh here it is lastly is this one Totec wisdom or oh, uh, the complete idiot guide idiot's guide and this right here this is something that you can keep on hand for um, if you want to reference some of the stuff but I don't know I um, I'm not gonna sit here and read straight through this one but I like to have it just to remind myself about the Totic ancient teachings and that's it yeah so once again to summarize to summarize the three books are the the Four Agreement, which was the first book that I read, which was one of the best, um, which is the best, I guess, for me. Um, this one and Mastery of Love are my two favorites. Let me see if I can find it. Based on ancient Totec wisdom, The Four Agreements offers a powerful code of conduct that can rapidly transform our lives to a new experience of freedom, true happiness, and love. Um, and then Mastery of Love, using insightful stories, Show, it shows us how to deal our, with our emotional wounds, recover the joy and freedom that are our birthrights, and restore the spirit of playfulness that is vital to a loving relationship. The voice of knowledge reminds us of a profound and simple truth. The only way to end our emotional suffering and restore our joy is living joy in living is to stop believing in lies, mainly about ourselves, and then just the lies that society per, uh, continues to per, uh, just realize that society continues to. Uh, the fifth agreement in this long awaited sequel to the full agreement, he collaborates with his son, Don Jose Ruiz, to offer another powerful agreement for transforming our lives. The fifth agreement encourages us to see the truth, to recover our authenticity, and to change the message we deliver not only to ourselves, but to everyone around us. Yeah, so these are great books, and these are my spiritual books that I'm delving into for the spring season. Spring is upon us and upon us, and these are the books that I will be enjoying um, along with some finance books. So, yeah. I think I think I shared about seven but we're missing one which is the fifth agreement and that's it so thanks for watching and let me know comment and let me know which one you like the most and again feel free to follow me on Goodreads where I leave written reviews if that's where you're into thanks for watching bye